here in the studio back in 2004 doing my start of a new day CD and we were in, in the studio tracking and I had a lot of amps in the studio. I had Tony Bruno Underground 30s, uh, Bogner Ecstasies, Marshall JCM 900s, Old Marshalls, Fenders. I just had a lot of amps in here and I was going through a lot of different amps at that time and a friend of mine introduced me to Steve Mueller from Mesa Boogie and Steve turned me on to the Lone Star amplifier that they were just coming out with and I plugged into this thing and immediately fell in love with it just the guitar straight into the amp and it was just this huge beautiful wonderful tone both on the clean channels and the overdrive channels which is exactly what I was looking for because all the other amps that I had were kind of a, a specialty you know it's like one channel you know and I had to have a big pedal board with overdrive boxes and interchangeable parts and what I was looking for is really something one box with multiple sounds for live applications and studio applications something that I can just grab put into the car get to the, the venue take it out set it up plug in and go and just have a huge massive tone it wasn't a whole lot to ask for right well Mesa Boogie delivered it with the Lone Star and the Soletto and the Mark V's and all these other amps that they have out now so we were in here in the studio record, recording the start of a new day record and when I heard the Lone Star my first thought was I have to go and re-record my guitar tracks and that's exactly what I did I brought the Lone Star in we spent several more days here in the studio cutting guitar tracks with the Lone Star amplifiers so the start of a new day CD was all the Lone Stars and when I got to doing uh, when I got around to cutting the reunion CD it was the same thing. I was using the uh, Lone Star and then we added in the Stiletto and so my world has kind of come full circle and complete with these two amazing amplifiers. Starting off on my guitars a little bit, I'll tell you a little bit about these real quick. So this is the one that I primarily play these days. This is my main one. This is a John English Strat that John English built for me and I was very privileged to be able to talk with John English and work with him and getting exactly what I wanted before he passed away. And uh, I think he passed away a year to two years after he built this guitar, which makes it even more special. And it's based off of a 1960 Strat. So it's relic out. And we just kind of went through the exact specifications that I wanted in a guitar and that I was looking for. And he nailed it. When I pulled it out of the case and played the first note, that was it. I didn't even have to hear anything else. I just knew that he got exactly what I was looking for. And the pickups, I'm using Jason Lawler pickups and they just sound amazing. I've always loved Jason Lawler pickups um, from the first time I heard them as well. And I've tried a lot of different ones and these have kind of hit it on the head for me. Coming out of the guitar, we're going right into a Maxon OD9 uh, Tube Screamer and I use that for different textures and just to give it a the, the guitar and the, the amp a little boost for those solos if I just need a little bit more edge and a little bit more drive on it I'll, just, I'll throw that in and then I've got a uh, love pedal uh, Eternity Fuse that I got from the love pedal guys and it's been a, a really really cool pedal to mess around with and it's really really nice transparent uh, overdrive it's been a really nice pedal and then uh, that just goes into my Peterson tuner there uh, so I can make sure I'm always in tune and then that right now is going into an AB box by radio their big shot ABY and that splits the signal between the two amplifiers and that way I can use one side or I can use both of them in stereo kind of kind of way and that's pretty much it for uh, the floor of everything now I do have some delay going on that I really like um, I like a little bit of delay and some coursing effect and I've been able to find that in the Electro Harmonics Deluxe Memory Man. And uh, these things are getting harder to find these days because they don't, don't make them... Uh, they don't make them like that anymore. <laughs> they actually don't make them at all, I don't think. Uh, and I have one on each amplifier set up. And they're set up relatively close to the, the same settings. Um, but it just kind of adds this fullness to the tone. <laughs>
nice little chorus in there and some it's really a nice kind of analog reverb that's going on and it's really close to kind of a tube uh, tape echo uh, and a whole lot easier to carry around than the tape echoes so going into the Lone Star that's pretty much it just a couple of pedals that I'll use every now and then for a little bit of overdrive and a little bit of delay I let the guitar and the amplifiers just kind of do the work all on their own without too many things getting in the way. 